Welcome to the Tippy Toes Podcast. We got a special guest this afternoon. Who my guest is, my dog? What it is, man. It's your boy L- LPB Pooty coming from West Island, Florida. Pooty, what them do? What it is, man. Appreciate man. You, man. Thank you for taking your time out your time to be on here. We needed to, you know, we know that we have to get you on here, my dog. No oh, doubt. Man, the, the Tippy Toes had some questions, dog. So we just wanted to take it on bite real quick. And we wanted to ask you real quick. Can you help us out real quick? Yeah. Okay, then. And you feel me? If you don't want to answer, you can let us know. We want to take it on bike with certain music. They want to know, where is Pootie from, first of all? From the west side of Orlando. Orlando, Florida. You know, Central Florida. Uh, Carver Shores. That's side I'm from. That's, that, that's like, you know what I'm saying? The best side. The west side. You know what I'm saying? That's where I grew up at. 5287 Lynette Street. That's where I be. So, 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 is that like the popular side of Orlando to be from? Yeah. Okay then, okay then. And growing up, Pooty, did you play any sports? Football, basketball, let us know. I, I did that like everything. I like, you know what I'm saying? I played, I, I, I was fucking with football at first. That's why I started off at, but I started growing up, you know what I'm saying? I, was, I got into basketball. I still play basketball now. Mm-hmm. So what's your favorite position, though? When you was playing for basketball and you still play now, what's your favorite position? Oh, I run the one, point guard, you know? Okay, then. Yeah. Okay then. So now they wanted to know. Now growing up, Pooty, who did you listen to before you started doing music? And well, I, I'm fucked up by um my favorite all time artist was Lil Wayne, Lil mm-hmm. Wayne, Future, Boosie, who else? You know, I used to fuck with Gucci man, OJ Juice man, all them boys too. Though Pee Wee Longway, all them niggas. You know, what I'm saying? I was looking to them boys. Okay like, then. I'm, and what about your city? Was anybody in your city, Orlando, doing music when you was a kid that made you like, man, I want to give this a shot too? Oh, yeah. Um, my, my my favorite artist out of the city was D-Boy at the time. I ain't gonna lie. I fought with D-Boy hard. I still fought with, um, you know what I'm saying, Whoop. I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was heavy on that orange phone too. I was fought up by bro too. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You know? mm-hmm. Who was? You know, like a couple of them, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I was fucking with KT at the time too though. All them boys do like doing this shit. Okay then. So like what well, like what made you say when what grade or what how old were you when you started trying to jump into the studio or just playing with it? And like D boy, he took me he was the first person who put me in the studio. I think he had like, took me to the studio. I was like like I I caught my first song with bro. I was like nine or ten, I think. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was young as hell, but <clears throat> young, super young. Yeah, I was like nine or ten. He had done put put me on some on some shit. He just wanted to see what I was like, how my voice sound and shit. My shit wasn't even all the way developed yet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think mm-hmm. I was. I ain't been to the studio. I went to the studio like around nine or ten. I ain't been back in there since I was probably like fourteen since that age. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I, I wasn't really. I was fucking with it, but I left it alone for like that long. Then I got back into it, like like right before I like I got in like ninth grade and shit. Okay, yeah. So now we we got sir, we got some songs we want we want you access by. You just let us know your opinion or what the state of mind you was in when you know when these songs came out. Let's start with um that you don't you got featuring Hot Boy the Lick. Yeah, we want you talk about oh, Licks. Yeah. Yeah, all this. <laughs> yeah, I ain't yeah. Lie. We go, we taking on bike. We going bike first. Then we going <laughs> creep. You feel me? Yeah. See, look, that was like around the time when, when like when I first got back in the studio. You know what I'm saying? We recorded that at bro house. We, we we was recording that like inside bro kitchen down there. You know what I'm saying? Hot boy, I met bro like my ninth grade year. Me and brother came real cool and shit. Like during that little period of time, and I knew brother. He told me he was rapping. Like I just see him. He'd have his headphones in, walking through the classes and school and shit all day, just rapping to himself. Like I'm like, damn, bro, like rap. That's how I met him. Like kind of like we like spoke out to to each other. I asked him like, "Damn, bro, you rock?" He be like, "Yeah, bitch," and I would tell him I rock too. But I I kind of I I kind of feel like bro already knew who I was because like you know what I'm saying like I was always popular as a jit, and I was mm-hmm. doing it. Like around that time, I was the only jit in my city that was doing shows. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no other jits rapping like the the like okay Toby. Why did be Toby? Bro ain't too far from me. I think bro like 24. I want to say because I'm 22. Bro, probably like a couple years mm-hmm. older than me. But he was like the youngest that was rapping with uh, Moot Boy, Whoop, and all them other niggas. You know what I'm saying? Older. So, but I was the only jit, like, at my age doing shows. I ain't, Hot Boy wasn't even, I think, I only think Brave had a little buzz, like a name around that time. So, 
I kind of should have brought a new awards and shit. They was telling me about it. We got to end, end up linking up and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Brother became a close friend and shit. That's how we ended up making that happen. We recorded that at Bruss, uh house. Mm -hmm. Okay, then they wanted to know too. What about who is Mari? Who? Who is Mari? Uh, say that name one time. M A R I. Oh, Mari. Yeah. Oh, you say Mari? Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> that my dog. Mm -hmm. uh, bro, I had a, he end up he had to end up getting into a car like a dirt bike crash. He ended up killing himself on a dirt bike. He had a front line. I think like I want to say 2017. I was like, I ain't never had nobody like close to me. Like you know what I'm saying that that passed away. So it was like it fucked me up, and I wanted to keep bro name living on. You know what I'm saying? I was a close friend. When I, was, I ain't never had no homeboys die or nothing like that. You know, getting killed around that time. He was like one of the first ones. He yeah, he down there. He had got in a bad accident on a dirt bike, and that, that shit killed him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So oh, damn it, sorry for that loss too. They wanted to know too. What about that town for the weight? Them bars were lit. What was, what was going through your mind when you came on? How you spin on that thing? Time for the weight. I ain't even lie to you. I always can't remember it. I always had bar laying on. I always had some shit like you know what I'm saying. Like, I be sitting out thinking like around that time I was I was going to jail a lot around that time too. So I made most of them songs when I was in jail. So when you behind that box, you ain't got nothing but time to think and you know what I'm saying. Just do shit. I'm in that bitch scratching paint off the walls, all kind of crazy shit. I'm in that bitch just gone. So I think I just, I don't know how to fuck. I ain't lie, I can't even re like really remember that song really like, like that. But time for it, I think I was, I was trapping a little piece, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> doing a little one, two and okay. shit. Just rapping about shit that I was doing, you know what I'm saying? Always did that. Always spoke the truth. That's how that came about. And what about Early Bird? And early Bird too. Same thing. I like around that same period of time. I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Trapping and shit. <laughs> Fucking with the jits and shit like that. Cause that's how I was though, like, I would want to like, I'm like, I'm young as fuck, but around that time I was like a, a big dog kind of, cause like who my daddy was, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. niggas already knew, like, your brother's him, cause I, I'm a junior, you know what I'm saying? So all the younger niggas that was, some, someone around my age, someone older than me, someone that's way, way younger than me looked up to me, though, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, that, like that guy at an early age already. Okay then. And, and then, what about Wonder Man? Because that one, that damn yeah, 1.3 million right now. Did you know that was going to do some numbers like that when you dropped that thing? Hell yeah, I ain't going to lie. Wonder Man. How um, you damn, you already know? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I knew that because, like, people was coming to me. Like, so many people was trying to, like, like put a bag behind me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I ain't going to lie. I was so hot as a jit. It kind of was, like, rough for people to believe in me. Because they're like, man, you going to fuck up. You going to do this. I ain't, and I and I wasn't listening like that, you know what I'm saying? But around that time, I was fucking with the nigga. Uh, one of my daddy's homeboys, his name Ken. You know what I'm saying? Ken, Ken, like he was like, man, I'm I'm a, I'm gonna take you under my wing. Like, bro was really pushing everything. That's who I was with first. TCP, mm -hmm. Total Chaos Productions. You know what I'm saying? That's like he he kind of was like, man, we could get it going, cause bro, I, I knew you all my life, and I've been seeing this shit. I know what you would do, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, let's go in. Like, I'll take it to the studio whenever. Bro, mm -hmm. took it to the studio and shit. But the song didn't really do too much until I ended up shooting a video, probably like. Video, yeah. Later. Who, who, who like, produced the video? Huh? Who produced the video? Um, Directed by Magic. Bro, mm -hmm. shot it, matter of fact. I ended up shooting that probably like a year or two later after I recorded it, though, you know what I'm saying? So when I I double back on that bit, because I'm like, man, this is one of my hottest songs. You know what I'm saying? This is like my hottest song, right? And so I ended up shooting a video mm -hmm. to get to that bit. Say Cheese ended up getting, getting that bit. Uh, World Star and all them started, started, started getting it. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was with a, a production team, but I left them alone because I was too much in the streets and shit. Just doing my own things. I was by myself. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then it's this promoter named Mello. Um, brother, kind of like you know what I'm saying. I reached out to him like, man, what's up, my little like, come on, like, bitch, I really, I ready to do it. So, bro, ended up kind of like trying to put a little bad behind me. Bro, I had paid for the video and shoot, like you know what I'm saying. Matter of fact, at the time, so when we ended up doing that, <clears throat> I was fucking with bro at the time, but I had no management and nothing like that. So that's how that came about, wonder man. 
Okay, then I'm like, well, I'm talking to Pooley. I got to put that mask on, boy. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, then man. We, we got another one, Pooley. What about Kill the Beat? 2.3 million views, though. Let me know what you was in the vibe when you dropped that thing, though. That was my first song that actually touched a million views. You know what I'm saying? That was crazy. Like, my people, they weren't really too much fucking with it, but I'm like, no. Nah. Oh, my shit. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I recorded that. Listen, bro, I recorded that song in Miami. I recorded that bitch in Miami, I think. The next day, I went and shot a video to it. Kill the beat. I'm like, um, I ain't really know, know the lyrics. It was kind of like on some bar for bar type shit I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I just came up with, with that bitch because the beat was so hard. And like, you know, Brad County, they fast. You know what I'm saying? So my member, he from Brad County down there. So I'm in that bit like, he, he like, man, it be right here straight. But he wasn't really too much fucking with it until he seen what, what that bitch started doing. I'm telling him, like, mm -hmm. I was flowing that bitch so hard. I'm going, flying them like, you know what I'm saying? Them balling that bitch. So I'm like, they got to follow the bitch. could dance to it. I know that's how they, this, they all kind of vibe down this bitch. So when, when that bitch finally hit the streets, I ain't gonna lie, that bitch did crazy number. That was my first time I ever seeing one of my videos touch a million views. So let me know what kind of calls you was getting, because you already was lit up the city, but now you going crazy. What what kind of phone call you getting? Was the labels calling yet? Yeah, they they was calling like round Wonder Man. They started been mm -hmm. calling around Wonder Man. Like I've been turning down deals. Like I done turned down so many deals. Like with every damn little label in the game, you know what I'm saying? So, but around that time, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I started getting more shows. My prices went up. I was getting booked everywhere. Right, like around that time, cause I was with with uh. The uh management team I'm with now, uh, damn, tight work management. That's what I'm with now. You know what I'm saying? So, bro, he from down south. He from Broad County. Mm -hmm. So, bro was like really like push me and shit like that. Boom, boom, boom. Like they weren't really fucking with the song at the time though. But I was telling them like a couple, a couple of my homeboys like, yeah, they been straight, but they knew it. But I told, mm -hmm. I said, watch what they been do. And I put that bitch out with the video. That bitch went crazy. So you you already know it's gonna be on five. I feel like, I ain't gonna lie, on some shit, I feel like all my music will go crazy. I just gotta give it to them. Like, I don't kind of slow my pace down a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? But it seems like now you you release with a promotion type. You don't just release, like, anything. And like, anytime you release, it's gonna be guys I see now. But we gonna get to that. Let's talk about No LOL. No LOL. That came, like, around the same time, Kill the Beat 2. Like, so you said you was just off the chain that time around that time. Everything just smoking. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. No other world surpassed that quick. I'm talking about real fast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, right now, the 3.8, maybe more now, but it was at 3.8 in count at that time. Yeah, that bitch was going crazy, but that's why. Are I'm you saying. shocked the hood new project, baby, getting these type of numbers? Say what? Are you shocked that a hood being from the, you know, the hood and you getting these type of numbers? I ain't gonna lie. I be on some hummer shit, so I, I don't really be getting the big head of shit, but it was crazy to me. I'm like, damn. That bitch going crazy, like, I ain't gonna lie, like, that bitch went stupid. <laughs> and I think I did a million in, like, the first three days. Damn. First two or three, three days, I'm like, damn, that bitch going crazy, you know what I'm saying? So they were fucking with it. She was crazy. Peppers. But, you know, how, 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 uh, no other came about, I fucked around it, like, you know what I'm saying? The little shit I had going on with a former friend, you know what I'm saying, how shit used to be. Like, boom. We fucking around and uh, I kept getting so many like you know what I'm saying slick shots thrown at me and shit. So I'm like, man, uh, at first I went finna drop that song. I ain't gonna lie to you, I went finna drop that bitch. And my dog, I'm like, man, fuck that, da da da, drop that bitch. Y'all don't wanna, you know what I'm saying? I'm on some shit like that, just nip it in the bud. Like, but niggas just kept on, you know what I'm saying, doing shit, little little whole shit, just saying all kind of side of shit. I, so my manager, we ended up going to uh, <coughs> Atlanta. I think I had um. Met up with a, a label, I think Atlanta Records. They had me in Atlanta. I'm out there recording and shit. Matter of fact, I'm in the Walmart's parking lot. It's raining. I remember this day. I finally let my manager hear. He ain't never heard that bit, but I heard I had the beat. I'm like, but listen, check, check me out. Tell me how this bit sound. That ambition of a rider, that was that Tupac beat. That bit came on. He played that beat. Like, yeah, that be hard. He didn't know I had a written verse to it already. So I'm rapping it to him. He think I'm freestyling it, but I've been had it written. I just had it hidden in the stack. So I'm going back to the He like, man, say that shit again. He like, this shit crazy. Right. Like. So he like, man, let's go to the uh studio right now. You you finna record that bit. He was like, bro, I'm telling you, you need some shit that's gonna set a statement. You know what I'm saying? You need some shit that's gonna go crazy. So I ended up recording that bit. Then a nigga had a fuck around doing some more shit. I dropped that bit. <laughs> he went to mm -hmm. doing so much shit. I dropped that bitch, and that bitch went stupid. That shit went crazy. <laughs> 
What okay. about them steppers? What what your mind was on you got steppers? Steppers? Mm-hmm. All that shit came like, you know what I'm saying? See, you know, LOLs was the little mm -hmm. punk. Well, okay, this what it is. Steppers and let like, you know what I'm saying? Let a nigga know, hey, look, do what time it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know mm -hmm. what's going on, bitch. Everybody claim they steppers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna show you really stepping. So that's when all that shit came on steppers. I was just I was on house arrest doing all this shit though. Like I was on house arrest for like three, three to four years. You know what I'm saying? And Pooty, like, while you was making all this music, getting all this million views, why you still was one foot in, one foot out? Like, why was that? Cause bro, I can't. I was so street. It was kind of hard for, for me to just leave that fast. You know what I'm saying? I was like two in the streets at the moment. Like, I got fucked up. I got dirt foul at 17. They tried me as a dope at 17. No. Yeah. So I ended up getting the an ankle monitor for about three to four years. Yeah, doing we'll house that. Kept fucking up on house arrest. They down there slapped me to prison. But by the grace of God, I don't know how the fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? I had some good ass lawyers. And it was like, you know what I'm saying? Looking out for me and shit. They just kept on. They gave me like two chances after that. That's the second time I got right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I was yeah. like, it was kind of, I don't know. That shit be, it ain't, it ain't just easy, bro. Like, you just leave what you used to. You know what I'm saying? This, 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 this some shit I grew up seeing all my life. All I was doing, you know what I'm saying? So, this all I knew was the streets. I ain't know. I wasn't really into no legit shit at the time. Everything I was doing was legal, was illegal. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, really just from the streets. But I had to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Adapt to that shit. And I got older. And I, I ended up having a girl. You know what I'm saying? I ended up having my little girls. So that kind of slowed me down, too. That slowed me down a so lot. So you got little girls? One daughter or two girls? How many you got? I got one little girl. I only got one so child. You feel like the daughter changed you up a little bit? Maybe you just let me relax a little bit? Man, she slowed me down a whole bunch. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of crazy because I wanted a boy. I know if I had a boy, I still would have been out there being reckless. But my little girl, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. my little girl, slow me down a lot. I ain't gonna lie. And now, Pooty, they wanted to know that violation music video. Why is it so lit like that? <laughs> violation. Yeah. Who, 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 who directed that bit? Uh, twenty K. Ah, damn. 20. What did, did y'all come up with? Like, why is it so lit like that? Man, my manager came up with. He came up with the whole little, you know what I'm saying, a rundown of that shit, how, how he want to do it. But I kind of gave him an idea. I'm like, man, let's do some shit on a private jet. He pulled whatever screens he could at the time, you know what I'm saying? Ended up doing it. But I ain't going to lie, that, I was in that bitch just flowing, just throwing bars and shit like that. But that bitch came out harder than what I expected, you know what I'm saying? Because we, 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 we was working with a little bit of nothing, you know what I'm saying? That bitch still came out hard. On the time, like I still want signed to no label or nothing like that. It's just me and my manager. We just putting the bread behind me. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't gonna lie to you. You gotta break it down to us, though. Damn, how you do that? How you do that? <laughs> I freestyle. I was, I was a freestyle. Damn. That wasn't even be no song I was gonna drop, bro. I swear to God, like I got so much music, I just be deciding what I'm gonna do next. Hey, look, we gonna do this. If I got an image for it. We gonna run with that, but I just be I be fucking around, bro. I, I ain't think I was gonna drop that song. How you do that? I ended up letting one of my dogs get on that, but he just came home. He had came home at the time, and we was in the studio just fucking around, bro. I done probably did like four, five songs that day, and he was fucking with that one. He was like, "But let me jump on the intro of that bit." He jumped on, saying what he was saying. I'm like, "Fuck, we gonna push that bit." Ended up shooting the video like a week or two later from that shit. I ended up recording. I don't know how you do that. I was just on that bit talking my shit. Really. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, Pooty, now you got to talk to us, dog. Address it. Picture alone at 9.8 million views, though, dog. Yeah. How you came up with that thing, though, dog? Who who produced the beat, first of all, bro? Uh, Stink. Stink, that's hard. He from, mm -hmm. uh, from Alabama. How you how you get getting get caught? How you end up getting contact on to do that there to say send me that? How y'all made it happen? I got like two hundred thousand followers, probably two hundred fifty thousand some followers. So they just reach not sending me beats through my DM and they be like, man, check your email. What's your email? I be sending my email to every producer. You know, so I walk in with them. They just be sending beats, and it's crazy. How I got that beat. I think I been had the beat. I just ain't never come across. I'm just going back to my old files, fuck around and find that bitch. I'm in the studio. I'm recording it in the old. A whoop was in the studio with me too at the time when I recorded that, when I recorded Address It. But it was also shit like what made me write about that, what I was talking about in the song, some shit had ended up happening with some other niggas, you know what I'm saying? Some some nigga from, from, from Jacksonville, you know what I'm saying? Then another nigga from down this way, where I'm from, 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 the, from the old one to put his input on certain shit. So I 
say what I said about them folks too, all in the shit. Like, you know, so I was just addressing the situation that was going on. Like, mm-hmm. that's how that all that came about. Well, then you know, even though you say it, it sounded like it was a diss or a slick song, but you know it's going to be in a commercial song like that? I'm going to keep it real, though. I'm so hold on the shit. I, I, I was in that bit like, the uh the most popular part is that mm, mm, mm shit, right? Mm, mm, that mm, nigga whoop, mm. bro. That nigga whoop was like, whoop say, bro, keep that right there and put it at the end. I swear to God, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta give bro credit on that. <laughs> bro was like, bro, keep, put this right here, bro. I'm telling you, keep that right there. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm gonna keep that right there. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I'm like, whoop. When the video came, out, I said they should have made that the hook. Man, listen, man, I went crazy on that bit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't think that bit was gonna go crazy like that. Look, so what, what, what made you come on? How, how that, uh? Uh, we gonna hustle. We gonna hustle. Like, hear that beat. That's the first thing you gonna come out. It make oh, you one. freestyle that. Or you wrote that thing. Now we gonna we gonna fight. We gonna touch. I I freestyle that. I freestyle that whole song. Ooh, glass. Listen, whoop is you my witness. the whole song. Whoop is my witness, man. He'll tell you this. He sat there watching. Hey, if I call Whoop, he gonna say you freestyle the whole song in like an hour. He'll tell you. Ooh, <laughs> glass. So so let me know what the video like. Like, wh- wh- like, what's where you was going at? Did, did, did anybody tell you, like, oh, you was too gangster? You should have went more commercial. You should have made it more kids' wise. What, what kind of stuff you was getting after the video drop? What kind of response? Cause it sounded like that song, like, was like a like a soldier boy type of, you know, commercial song. Yeah, it was kind of like in both lanes. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I wish. So I what, what made you go the gangster route, not the commercial? You know, the kid route. Yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I deal with it like. It did what it did. Like, I'm appreciative. Like, you know what I'm saying? I try to keep it, you know what I'm saying? Because TikTok kind of took over that bitch. So I try to at least add a love, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to keep it too discreet, but that song ain't got nothing to do with what TikTok got on, you know what I'm saying? This some street shit. <laughs> <but no. laughs> it's some street you shit. A no. whole bunch of street shit. So I try to keep it on some, hey, look, man, this what we going to do to make it look like this going on. Have a little, you know what I'm saying? Mix it in. Basically, that's. That's what I was doing, but that shit, it, it played out how it played out, but, you know what I'm saying, I believe if I would have been shot that video, it would have went crazier than what, it, like, the views would have been way more crazy than what it is mm-hmm. not. But you shot, though, that's just the picture, the video got big views, too, but that's just the picture one by itself was definitely almost 10 million. Are you shocked, though? Because, you know, 10 million views ain't no regular views, so we can't be acting like... Hell, yeah, no. Nah. The video mm-hmm. got, like, what, 4 million, I think? That's what I'm saying, so it's like, it's crazy. So, now nah, yeah. you got to break it down, though. The numbers crazy. Connected. Connected for featuring 42 Doug. How y'all make that happen? Where, where y'all shot the video at, dog? What city y'all? That's where you brought them at. Where y'all was at? We, um, I ended up recording that song with 42, like right after I signed my deal with uh, Interscope mm-hmm. and Community Records. Um, that was like, I recorded that song back in 2019. That mm-hmm. shit old. That shit That's an old song. Yeah, that bitch old. Like, that bit older than Address It. Matter of fact, it's. Yeah, it's, it's older than Address It. We just ended up bringing it back last year. You know what I'm saying? I ended up shooting a video to it, getting it. Like, man, dog, this 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 before 42 Dog had his name. Like, I recorded that song way before bro even, like, was, like, he was with Gotti. I met him through Gotti. Because, you know what I'm saying? I could have. Gotti had. Uh, I met Gotti in Miami back in 2018, I believe. Then that year after that, I think Dog just came home. And bro had a little buzz where, where, where he was from. You know what I'm saying? We had the same followers and everything. Down to like 200,000 followers. When I met bro, he came in the studio on some chill shit. Like, I ain't know who he was at first. But my dog was like, bro, this nigga I was telling you about who made that song, Dog Food. I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Brushing out. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't really listen to him. I ain't know who he was. We ended up recording that bit. Jit went in the studio. We freestyled that song. Bro went that bit first. When I say he went crazy, I'm looking at my dog. I'm like, Oh yeah, Jit went crazy on this bitch. So I'm gonna go stupid. Mm-hmm. We freestyled. We went back and forth. Back and forth. Like, yeah, I walk that... in that bitch. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Jit walking that bitch. I walk in that bitch. I come out. He, he he go back in. It was it was just like that. Like we caught that song probably like 45 minutes. Damn. Swear and to God, that, man. Talk, that shit that's another killer. But what about the one you see you drop with GCM 26? How that came about? Oh like, hey, that my dog. Mm-hmm. I'm a cousin, matter of fact, bro. I had a. Um, that was like you was showing love on that one. Yeah, he had just came home from up the road. You know what I'm saying? He was in prison too. And like, they, they be always on my head about rapping. But, bro, I want to rap. Da, 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 when I come home, like, I've been with he, 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 he could rap since we were jits. Like, he was around with me and Hot Boy at the time, you know what I'm saying? But he got fucked up and got sent to prison in high school. Mm-hmm. So then, he, was, uh, he finally came home. He like, cut, like, 
I'm gonna talk to him over the years. He just keep talking, but it rap shit. Yeah, I see you going crazy, bitch. I hear you on the kiosk, this and that, because I'm trying to take all bit and that. So we fight, he finally came home. We ended up. I had him did a couple songs with him, and that was the one song we was fucking with. We like, bro, we gonna drop this one, video to it. It ain't. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of did it on some shit, like man. I ain't do it the 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 right procedure. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was like. Heated at the label at the time, I just dropped that bit. You know what I'm saying? Like they were pulling music and shit, like slowing my process up. I was like, man, fuck that bitch. I just dropped that bitch with him. Like I ain't even put out on all platforms, none of that. But that song would have went crazy. I know it would have went crazy. I ain't had the right promotion push or none of that behind it. You know what I'm saying? I dropped. Well, what, what was the problem with the label though? What you couldn't get along with the label? What the scope was like? Uh, it wasn't that, man. I mean, it made it made sense to me now. Cause you know, you, know you lit. They don't want you just giving out free music no more. Hold on, man. Hold on. Oh. Lit, lit. What happened though? My fault. You know, you know, you lit. They don't want you giving out free music. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. It makes sense to me now, though, cause like what they were saying at the time, I was on some fast paced shit, like just flooding music. But it's a business at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's the way how you do it. It's a marathon. He was telling me like, man, this a marathon. You ain't trying to win no race. You wanna last long. You know what I'm saying? All these niggas flooding with, with all this music. After a while, they are gonna be played out. But then mm. again, it's still consistency. I'm still out here. I'm fresh meat. You know what I'm saying? Coming into the industry, I gotta get that buzz, push and mm. all this. But they see shit different. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm realizing what's going on. Hey, it making sense. I ain't tripping. But I was on now, some. I want some dropping music, dropping music, dropping music. They kind of like would come down and like slow my process down. But it all making sense at the end. End of the day, like I don't release probably like four songs since I've been signed to the label. I've been signed two years now. Okay, then. So, so now, Pootie, you gotta let me know, man, your secret, man. Yo, you ain't gotta let me know too much of your secret, but you gotta let me know your separate, your, your recipe, bro. Now you got Batman. We ain't gonna talk about the remix. We're gonna talk about the regular Batman. How that end up going viral, too, though. Bro, I can't even tell you, bro. I, I, man, you I gotta you... tell me something, Pootie. You can't be dropping these bangers. They're just going viral every time. Now, Listen, bro. bro. I don't even be on TikTok like that. I have a TikTok account, I ain't gonna lie. Mm -hmm. If I post on that bitch, I be way bigger than what I am. I know I am. But I don't be on TikTok. I swear I I went on that bitch. I had a drop no matter of fact, this um this little um 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 promotional page, I think it's called damn. It's something like a say cheese, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like one of them little bloggers had um posted that bitch. Cause he was in the studio with me. The nigga, um, Rez. Damn, I'm trying to think of his name, bro. He's from down south. Matter of fact, they was in the studio when I recorded it. Not when I recorded it. They was they was in the studio. I was in that bit playing all my unreleased. Mm -hmm. I let them get footage. You know what I'm saying? And they ended up catching that footage when I'm playing that song. And he wrote me. He was like, "Bro, you'll be sh your people will be straight if I what's the name." If I put this out on my page and be like, Pooty got a lot of unreleased hits coming on, so I'm like, yeah, drop that shit. That's content. You know what I'm saying? That gave me a little mm -hmm. buzz. He posted that bit. When I said that bit went crazy on his page, now people in my DM send it to me, send it to me, tagging me, and I'd be like, man, da da da. Then I told him, send me the clip. So I posted the clip on my page. Man, I swear to God, that bit went stupid. I think I had like four, five thousand comments on my post. Probably like Damn. 400,000 views when I posted that bit. It was like, man, drop this, drop this, drop this. And I showed the label. I'm like, look, man. And you know what's crazy? I recorded Batman around the same time. I recorded um, connected with with, with forty two. I made all that in the same week. Damn. That shit was old. Batman down the two two three years old now. What made you bring it back out there? What made you take that chance? And let me re like I told you, I forgot about the song. I was yeah, in that bit. I was in that bit playing all my unreleased music. And he mm -hmm. just got it on footage. He was in that bit recording me in the studio, just rapping to him. Cause I had did an interview with them. And they was in that bit that day. And they were like, man, you wanna play us a couple of all these tracks? I got some more music. I'm just I played down the 40 songs in that bit probably. And mm -hmm. that bit just and that was at that time. I'm way I like I probably got down there to two hundred to three hundred unreleased songs, you know what I'm saying? Now. Cause I like I was I was there for three years straight, just record, record it every day. You know what I'm saying? So I record it every day, every day. But he just ended up getting, getting that little footage and ended up posting it, and it went crazy. Then I look on TikTok, because I didn't really know what TikTok was. Addressing had me on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. when I got on, after Addressing did this thing, I was promoting on TikTok. Got my little followers up on there and views and shit. 
go on TikTok one day. I'm looking at that shit. I see a bitch sent me a link on TikTok. That bitch had a million views in a day. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. So I ended up sending that bitch to the label. I'm like, man, look, man, this is what's going on. This what, look, let's push this nigga. We're going to drop this. They're like, all right, let's do it. That bitch went crazy. So how y'all end up getting low? Wayne doing money back. Yo, on the remix, though, dog. Yeah, I don't even know how to like that. that Batman wasn't even a song that I even like, you know what I'm saying? Looked at like, oh, you ain't I you freestyled that. Batman? I freestyled that. I was playing bullshit. <laughs> Damn, but you know that play around shit be that shit that be turning up though. Bro, that shit was crazy. But yeah, how, how the Batman shit came across? Cause like, the nigga who I'm signed to, Breon. Breon Prescott, you know what I'm saying? Bro got a little, he got a, a lot of pull in the game, you know what I'm saying? So his face was clean with certain folks, I guess. He ended up making it happen with Wayne, because Wayne sent me the first first off the dribble. Mm -hmm. Like, he sent that bitch fast. Here Wayne sent that thing fast. And he sent that bitch so quick. I ain't believe it. I ain't gonna lie to you. He was telling you me to like, Lil Wayne sent that verse fast. He was like, man, let's get a remix. You know what I'm saying? It was a bunch of artists. Like, I wouldn't even, I would never even thought Wayne would have got on my shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was gonna say, like, he was like, man, who you want to get on that bitch? I'm like, man. Cause at the time I'm fucked up by a little baby. I'm fucked up by NBA young boy, the baby, all them boys, you know what I'm saying? Cause them were the three hottest artists at the time when I recorded this mm -hmm. shit. So them boys were going crazy. But I ain't getting neither one of them because they had ended up doing features with other people. And I don't think Young Boy was doing features at the time. And young Boy probably never fitted that song, so that was like the picture. I'm like, man, let's get Lil Wayne. And they was like, You want Lil Wayne? I'm like, Hell yeah, yeah. And they was like, We gonna I can make that happen. I ain't believe it at first. That shit, he sent me that verse back. For like a week, he was like, "What I told you?" I'm like, "Damn, that's crazy." Then money back, they reached out to money back. They was like, "Man, let's get a second person on there." I'm like, "Who we gonna do?" They came up with money back. I ain't never think about money back either at the time, and it ended up happening. Like they made it happen. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So you shot like damn, just I had the projects got big record with Lil Wayne, money back. You how you feel? Does it feel like it's a dream, or you feel like it's wake up is that whatever? But that, well, listen, man, that shit separated me from a lot of folks. Like in my city. <clears throat> It looked crazy. It was some shit like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? You know, the Illuminati shit be going on. They be <laughs> oh, they, they say you done sold your soul, huh? Oh, my God, bro. I heard that a lot. All oh, they know this and that was going on. <laughs> like, I had lost mm -hmm. a few homeboys and everything around that. Like, you know what I'm saying? There was so much going on. So they making this thing on some, on some shit like, nigga sold they soul. Like, this nigga put it finna do some other shit. He got all kind of crazy shit. He finna be a billionaire. Like, I'm like, man, hey. <laughs> That's yeah, Pootie, like, Pudi, when y'all first came out, like, right, a lot of people was comparing, like, you and the Glocks to the Kodak, but if you notice, you listen to Pudi, he got his own style. Did that bother you a lot when people were trying to say, like, because remember, you from Florida, so you really had a Florida style, but a lot of people saying you sound like a, a, a Kodak. Well, did it get to you a little bit or it ain't really bother you at all? Nah, it ain't never get to me, though. I swear, I ain't, I ain't really care about that, because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, anything that was fucked up about the part, it just, like, <clears throat> I don't know if Yak came home on some shit like on the same time. Because at first, bro, kind of was on some shit like, yeah, these niggas doing this, stealing swag and shit. But I'm like, damn. Bitch, see you, but you on some shit like, bitch, you the face of Florida, so it look crazy. But it ain't, it ain't really get to me if you on, on some shit like, damn, they were just the kind of nigga, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but I fought with Yak, though. It ain't no pressure on them with them. But bro, kind of was like on some shit like, the social media was making it worse than what it was. Bruh said whatever he was saying at the time. It was crazy. I'm thinking, bro, would have came home on some shit. Like, hey, I'm finna fuck with these young niggas. You know what I'm saying? But like, brain really. You think it was, it, you think it was because, you know, remember, y'all was taking off. Like, not like no local artists. Y'all was blowing up industry wise, though. Yeah, but. but you think it looked like I, competition? No problem. Like, tell, you know how, you know, competition for the first place. You know how it be. Yeah, it do be like that, but in this music shit. You're going to have to learn how to network with other artists, though. That's what I had to learn, too, though, because I ain't really got that many features. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got that many features. So I could probably feel where bro was coming from, but still, though, my manager from the same hood, this man from, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I thought they were going to make that work or some shit like that, but I guess, hey, it's just going to work, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know shit like that. It just was crazy that brain, like, you know what I'm saying, kind of, like, cleared up on some shit, like, nah, they legit, they, they, they hard and all like that, he ain't never vouch on no shit like that, but, bro, no way, yeah, I, like, I ain't gonna lie, Tippy Toes a friend, I always wanted to see, like, a Yag Pootie, you know, see, you know, y'all in the songs and stuff, 
Yeah, hopefully, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping. It is what it is. <laughs> but, 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 but I ain't gonna lie. Pooley, you know we nosy. So we wanted to know, back before y'all blowed up, all y'all look like y'all was hanging out, vibing. What did it happen with the Pooley, the Orlando, all, you know, I ain't gonna mention no name, but the, the crew, man, like everybody was vibing, then it went left field, though, dog, but all y'all got lit, though, dog. <laughs> I, I'm gonna keep real. I don't even know. I, I can't, I swear I can't tell you why bitches part of their ways, but like you say, on some competition shit, but it should never even been looked at like that, because you my nigga at the time, you know what I'm saying? We came in this shit together, we supposed to be, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, we supposed to be like the Migos, I'm gonna keep it real. That's the kind of shit it was on at first. Like, you know what I'm saying? That was our plan, because Hot Boy was locked up for a little, a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Bro was locked up since, uh, I want to say like 10th grade. Bro came home like 2019. I graduated 2018, you know what I'm saying? So he was locked up since 2017, I think. So, you know what I'm saying? So, boom. Bro, fuck around there. That was our plan, though. When he came home for a little home pass, us three was on a song. We had them did our first song together with each other. Us three. But we had, I got both the songs with both of them boys, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That bitch ain't never heard. Like, them bitches hidden. Like, you know what I'm saying? They ain't, <laughs> gonna, get put, they ain't gonna get put out some type of way we could hear them by mistake. <laughs> bro, I don't even know. Oh, listen, I don't even know. I can't, probably not with one of the other niggas, but I don't know about, you know what I'm saying, the other one. I know, like, you know what I'm saying, it ain't no But if, if everybody was so close, put is it, is, is it more like the, the people that hang around us? Because it seemed like everybody was cool before the money came in, though, dog. That's what people were saying, though. People was like, it got to be niggas that's around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm older than both of them boys, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, big bro. But on some shit, like, certain folk was trying to bend, like, bend them boys ear, like, oh... Don't let them boys little boy you. You can't let bro little boy you shit like this. Like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never look at like on no shit like no little boy shit. Cause bitch. Whenever like we was doing some shit, like say, I done been in trouble with, with these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody go off each other beat. If I say, hey look, man, this is what we finna do, then how we gonna do it, it'll be like that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody put an input on ain't no big dog around us. I was just older than them niggas, you know what I'm saying? So it's like on some shit like, bro, like, you know what I'm saying? He 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 speaking some real shit, it'd be like that. But after a while, that money went again the then. Once you get more money than a certain nigga, it'll make you feel like you a bigger person than him. Like, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So, but I ain't ever look at it like that because I was getting cheese, hella cheese, I, way before the rap shit. Like niggas already knew. Like I was doing my thing. Like like like, like I told you, like who who my daddy is. You know what I'm saying? That already set a little path for me already, bitch. I had a name already. Mm -hmm. So it was just like on some shit like bitches and bitches is them boys. I don't know, but I can't even tell. I swear I can't tell. You. Bitch was saying it was about a bitch. Now when us ain't never cared about hoes, cause we was like, you know what I'm saying? I'm over getting past by the time. I don't mm -hmm. believe it was about no bitch. But a mm -hmm. son, but then it was one when a bitch said it was some he say, she say shit I said about these folks. We ended up figuring that out. You know what I'm saying? That shit was what it is. And there's some other shit I can't really tell you about. Like, you know, like. You, go, you ain't got to speak too much on it, but they wanted to know too, because the, the tippy toes nosy, like, cause you know you're Orlando legend is upcoming, but you already a legend. I don't know if you know that, but. How yeah. you feel about when you when you hear the 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 whoop and the hot boy situation? Because you know you know everybody. Like, what was going through your mind when you seen that? I ain't gonna lie, that shit crazy. Everybody got their own, you know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech. I feel like on some shit, it be some inside shit going on. You know what I'm saying? That that the media don't know about. You know what I'm saying? But a big can say anything they want to say. Like, I, I I you know what I'm saying? Hot boy. I don't feel like he was wrong for saying whatever he wanted to say. Like, oh, I like whoop. I mean, uh, moop. You know what I'm saying? So, but it be some inside shit going on that a bitch don't know about why a bitch probably did that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's what I was saying. I told whoop that. I'm like, man, I don't know that shit crazy because I ain't gonna lie. Them boys, little brothers, whoop, little brother used to hang with us. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. and like, whoop, bitch, he, his hood five minutes across the street from mine. Mm -hmm. Ain't too far, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> yeah, I feel you. All that shit really right there. So I fuck with both of them boys. At the time, I was fuck with both, like both of them boys. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I ain't really put my input on that. That shit is crazy. <clears throat> okay, then. And then I ain't gonna lie. My last question too, though, Pudi. I'm the one. New video. Mm -hmm. What's up with that thing, though, man? For real, though. Look, <laughs> the reason why I dropped that I ain't gonna lie. I had to. It was so much. Alclining going on like in the past year or so, cause like after my dog got killed, you know what I'm saying? 
bitches went to, you know what I'm saying, looking at it like, oh, this was going on, these folks supposedly got the city, you know what I'm saying, they taking over, doing this now. I'm cool with that. I ain't never in no, like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never had no hatred toward nobody. Certain folks were making it seem like this is what it was when it really wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I can't really talk about certain shit and do certain shit. I'm on house arrest. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of shit that was going on around the time. Like, I got shot and everything last year. So I spoke about that too in the song. I was telling, like, them niggas mm -hmm. spent the block and they end up killing. Like, you know what I'm saying? All that shit was going on. I just had to like, you know what I'm saying, I leave a statement like, man, this really what it is. Folks don't really you know, like, you know what I'm saying, they making that shit look good, it ain't that. Because niggas was trying to make it seem like, I ain't got nothing going on, you know what I'm saying, like, hey, this nigga ain't really standing on business. He ain't, you know what I'm saying, so b before you, you know what I'm saying, destroy my image, I ain't letting nobody kill my character, you know what I'm saying, you ain't finna destroy my character, bitch, I, like, you know what I'm saying, like I told you. I'm still here. I ain't got like, you know what I'm saying? All that other shit that was going on. Like, you know, they, they hit our city with Rico and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So that fucked up a lot of shit. Them niggas thought that shit was cool doing some shit on, on social media, making it seem like this and that, 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 but that really wasn't what it was. So I just don't speak on some shit. But I just had like, let, let, like that little part be known. Like, hey, bitch, this, I'm the one for real. You know what I'm saying? Them folks doing whatever they doing, but I'm the one for real, bitch. Like, this my shit too now. It's like, you know what I'm saying? We all can share this shit, but don't just try to make it seem like you just that guy. This nigga ain't having no motion. Been having motion. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. Okay, then. Okay, then. And Pooh, you already know. We don't want to ask too much because we're going to save it till when you could come down. I know you got the album coming now. We want to talk about it. We want to make sure we do that face to face. But what you want to let them know? What they need to be looking out for? What you want to say before we get you out of here? I know we had you a little bit too long. What you want to let them know before we get out I'm of here? I'm going to get ready to drop the video for I'm the one. In like another week. I also dropped my tape in like another week. I think Ooh. damn near a day after or the same day. Mm -hmm. One of them. I ain't got the date mm -hmm. yet, but I know it's coming in December. So y'all get ready for my tape and shit. You know what I'm saying? We about to get ready to release. I got a couple uh, big features on there. A couple shits like 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 little snippets that I've been posting. Y'all gonna be ready for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Be ready for it. That shit on the way. Okay, then. And then shout outs before you get out of here. And if people want to follow you, how can they follow you, my dog? Yeah, man. Follow me on Instagram, lpb.pooty. I don't got no other social media besides Instagram, TikTok. That's Instagram. all you got, Instagram? Uh, I got Instagram. I got, you know, YouTube, a little platform, you know, uh, SoundCloud, all that the same, lpb.pooty. And then I got, I be on Facebook from time to time, uh, Pooty Tang. It ain't lpb.pooty. It's, it's, it's Pooty Tang. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then. That boy a freak on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, hey, Facebook lit though, I ain't gonna lie. I, I, people I don't know Facebook lit, people don't know that. I be on that bit though, I be on that bit every now and then, you know what I'm saying? That wouldn't fool, they be hitting at me on that bit, but Facebook where is that though, too little, but Instagram and Facebook really, I don't got no Twitter, I don't got no, no, no Snapchat, no none of that. Why you ain't got no Twitter? You don't think you need a Twitter? I ain't gonna lie, they had a little fake page, a fake page, a little Twitter, that bit was buzzing. They, that, that bitch got a couple thousand followers. I just ain't never, they sent me the passwords and everything, so I just don't be on it. I don't know, I, I still need to know how to use Twitter. I never used Twitter a day in my life. Okay, then, okay, then. And what And what do you say to anybody that call, talk me, they think Orlando is Disney World? They go read and look for themselves, man. This shit ain't nothing Disney about Orlando. This not, not even in Orlando. That's the crazy part. Yeah, a lot That's of people don't know. Where is Disney World at, first of all? Disney World down to Davenport. Davenport is Polk County. You know what I'm saying? Like Polk County and, and Kissimmee, Osceola County. Orange County is Orlando. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That shit is like on the outskirts. Like that okay, bit, that bit Disney like 45 minutes away from where everything from. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that shit, not Orlando. Okay, then any shout outs, Pooty, before you get out of here. Let's give some shout outs. Man, shout out to the whole all them young niggas that's trying to do their shit, the ones who ain't fucking with me and we ain't fucking with each other, it is, I right, listen, it is what it is, I, I still salute y'all, boy, y'all do y'all thing, you know what I'm saying, we all gotta eat one day. You already know, man, Pooty, we appreciate you for giving us your time of your time, my dog, it was a pleasure talking to my dog, Pooty, my nigga, you know, know, know what to do, do. till next time, man, you already know. Already. Man, but we gonna be waiting for you, cause we wanna sit down at the table with you now when the album drop, now. Nah. Yeah, I'm ready, I ain't gonna lie. 
I, you know, I you like, manager from Brown County, so you got to come turn up with us. I'm yeah, like, I ain't want to do the virtual, man. I want to come down there. I know, but I'm in mean, old Phoenix, though. I'm like, nah, I need Pootie right now, though. I need Pootie, though. The old Phoenix, yeah. I'm like, I need Pootie, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I need that, bro. Yeah. yeah.